Chapter Three. When Hans, Liedenbrock, and Axel arrive at the bottom of the crater, there are three black holes in front of them. Where do we go now? Asks Axel. I don't know. We must wait and see. Says the professor. It is the twenty-eighth of June. Suddenly, the sun comes out, and the shadow of Scartaris falls on one of the holes. It's Arne Sacknusem's sign. Says Professor Liedenbrock, excitedly. Come on, we go down that hole to the center of the earth. They go through the hole and climb slowly down. It takes them ten and a half hours. To arrive at the bottom. What a very long climb! Now they are two thousand meters from the top of Snaefell's. In the morning, they eat breakfast, and Professor Liedenbrock looks at his compass. Now he says, "The journey begins." They take lamps and go into a big, dark tunnel. They walk for a very long time. Axel and the professor look at the crystals. In the walls of the tunnel, what wonderful crystals! Axel says. Yes, says Liedenbrock. Hans walks in front of them. He doesn't say a thing. On the second day, the big tunnel stops. Suddenly, in front of them, there are two small tunnels. Which tunnel do we take now? Asks Axel. The tunnel on the left, says Liedenbrock. They go into the new tunnel slowly. They walk down it, but sometimes the tunnel goes up for a time. Uncle, perhaps this is the wrong tunnel. It's going up, says Axel. But Liedenbrock doesn't listen, and he doesn't stop. After five days of walking, the tunnel stops. We must go back," says Professor Liedenbrock angrily. But Axel is worried. We haven't got any water," he says. They go back. To the first big tunnel. Now, they go down the small tunnel on the right. But they can't walk very well, because they are all very thirsty. That night, Axel is sleeping, when he hears a noise. He opens his eyes at once.
and sees Hans. Their guide is walking away with the lamp. Where's he going? Hmm, maybe he's leaving us, thinks Axel. He closes his eyes again, tiredly. An hour later, Hans comes back. Water, he says quietly to Liedenbrock. Come. Axel, get up, cries the professor. And they quickly follow Hans. After some time, they can hear water through the tunnel wall. Hans makes a hole in it. Water comes out, and at last they all drink. Don't close that hole, Hans, says Liedenbrock. Now, this stream can be our guide.